Hi guys, Razor Mods here, back with a quick application review. And today we are looking at Open Home, which is a home scheme replacement for Android. Right now, the first thing you're probably going to notice when you when you first open Open Home is um, how neat the the actual layout of this application is. Um, as you can see down the bottom hand corner here, we've got a shortcut to our phone dialer. And just above that here, we've got a search icon which we can use to search Google, uh, the web or apps, which is a, a standard Android implementation. Um, uh, down the bottom here we've got a little indicator which at the moment I've just covered it up with my thumb it says W4 down there which means we're on window 4 now as the standard Android um, home screen uh, that comes with HTC Sense um, this one is actually the same you can have up to uh, I think you can have anything between 3, 5 and seven <coughs> different home screens and this little indicator down the bottom here that says W4 is actually indicating that at the moment we're on window number four so if I just slide that across you'll see it changed to window three W2 and this one I've actually known to social because I do I actually plan on having Twitter on there, Facebook and any other social networking apps that I'm currently using. Um, so we'll just go back to the main screen, we'll see we've got a nice glass looking you know, like a, a bubble clock there. Um, the bar I've got here is actually extended power controls, that is a separate widget that you can install. Um, here I've added a couple of shortcuts uh, as you can see when if you hold your finger on on the main screen there you get a choice of adding shortcuts widgets folders or um, being able to change the wallpaper uh, yeah. <clears throat> there's various different um, standard widgets that actually work with this or uh, you can actually download um, many many more different widgets and these widgets actually work in the same in the same way as you'd normally use them on any standard <coughs> excuse me on any standard HTC sense or any standard Android home screen um, you can have various different shortcuts to applications, bookmarks, or direct dial a person, or direct message a certain contact. Uh, you can have shortcuts to directions and navigation and so on. Uh, we can also have shortcuts to folders. So we can create folders and then drop applications into those folders. Um, the little star icon that we've got here is a favourites folder that we can pull out and then we can add any icons that we frequently use to this little sort of pull out drawer which is shortcuts which neatly fold away. Um, just down here in the bottom right corner here, I've just covered it over with my finger now, is our battery indicator. As you can see at the moment mine is showing on 90% and just to the right of that we have our shortcut to launch our internet browser. Uh, the application drawer for the main applications actually pulls up from the bottom there 
and then you can scroll up and down for any applications you've got installed in your phone and then we can slide back down the application drawer so that's the main aspects of the the main program file so next we'll take a look in the settings folders if we press the menu button we're actually given a selection of features where we can add anything such as shortcuts widgets folders to the desktop or change our wallpaper uh, we can also change our wallpaper by clicking the wallpaper icon we can either search our phone or the web or the marketplace etc by pressing the search button we're given an option to bring out down our notification bar um, we've got a button there to access the standard Android features a standard Android settings menu and we're given more options down in the bottom right corner which if we press that we've got the options of loading skins and different icon packs we can change the fonts and the colors uh, we've got a separate open home settings list there um, other themes they've, we've got a built-in task manager the option to take a screenshot and we have a home chooser which we can use to select which we want to use as our default home screen so if we just go into the settings of open home and we're given various different options of whether we want to use the experimental cube transition which I'll just show you now and that is when we're changing sliding through our home screens you can actually see that it's giving us a nice glass looking cube and actually um, bringing our, our various different home screens into view so that's the experimental cube transition which I personally don't use now uh, you're given an option to disable the orientation change um, you can enable or disable the weather widget which I've disabled because I'm not actually using it uh, we'll give it an option to set our number of screens which I mentioned earlier I think which um, we're given three options we can either have three, five or seven different home screens we can set our button on our home screen uh, the, the behavior of our home screen button where we can show screen previews or go back to the main screen when the home button is pressed uh, we've got the option here to use instant folders which um, means if you drop one icon onto another then um, we create an instant folder uh, <clears throat> there's the option there to add or take away the phone button the browser button which is in the phone buttons the bottom left corner the, the browser button is the bottom right corner so we can turn off the indicators for our screens which um, in our video is w1 w2 and so on uh, we can either enable or disable the application dock and the soft keyboard which is a search function for the soft keyboard uh, we can either enable or disable our battery meter which uh, shows our bat current battery level in a percentage uh, we can either enable or hide workspace labels, add-ons, we can enable screenshots, uh, enable workspace gestures so you can either swipe your workspace up or down, we'll bring you back to like the uh, main screens etc we can use transparent backgrounds and we're also given 
the options to libel each and every one of our screens. Now that's the one I like to libel social, ready to add my Facebook and Twitter and any other social networking applications onto that screen. And as you can see, the other ones are now uh, label W3, W5, W4, etc. Right, next, I um, will take a quick look at a skin that I downloaded free from the Android Marketplace. So if we just click skins, we'll see we've got the Android default skin, the Open Home default skin, the Fallout 3 skin, which is the skin that I downloaded from the Android Market. Or we get the option at the bottom there to download skins from the App Market. So if I just load my Fallout 3 skin, that's asking us if we wish to switch skin, you must restart Open Home. Right, so we can either exit and use the skin wallpaper, exit but keep my wallpaper, or don't exit. And in this instance, I'm going to exit and use the skin wallpaper. Okay, that's took me back to HTC Sense, which is currently my default home screen. So if I press home and just launch back into open home, we'll actually see now that I'm using the Fallout 3 theme and the application drawer has been changed to um, sport a Fallout 3 logo, which I can slide up and there's my applications on a nice and neat Fallout 3 background which is quite neat and this theme actually comes with a, a skinned clock as well anyway guys that's been my quick application review of Open Home as usual, if you enjoyed the video or you found it informative, please like, comment and remember to subscribe.